We know that nearly one third of the people applying in Connecticut and Maryland. For example, are under 35 years old. They understand that they can get a good deal at low costs, have the security of health care. And this is not just for old folks like me that everybody needs good quality health insurance. And all told, more than half a million consumers across the country have. successfully submitted applications through federal and state marketplaces. And many of those applications aren't just for individuals, it's for their entire families. So even more people are already looking to potentially take advantage of the high quality. Affordable insurance that is provided through the Affordable Care Act. So let me just recap here. The product is good. The health insurance that's being provided is good. It's high quality and it's affordable. People can save money, significant money, by getting insurance that's being provided through these marketplaces. And we know that the demand is there. People are rushing to see what's available. And those who have already had a chance to enroll are thrilled with the result. Every day, people who were stuck with Sky-high premiums because of pre-existing conditions are getting affordable insurance for the first time. Or finding, like Janice did, that they're saving a lot of money. Every day, women are finally buying coverage that doesn't. Charge them higher premiums than men for the same care. Every day, 
people are discovering that new health insurance plans have to cover maternity care. Mental health care, free preventive care. So you just heard Janice's story she owns her own small business. She recently became the first woman to enroll in coverage through Delaware's exchange. And it's true, it took her a few tries. But it was worth it after being turned down for insurance three times due to minor pre-existing conditions. So now she'll be covered, she'll save 150 bucks a month. And she won't have to worry that one illness or accident will cost her her business that she's worked so hard to build. And Janice is not alone. I recently received a letter from a woman named Jessica Sanford in Washington State. And here's what she wrote, I am a single mom, no child support. self-employed, and I haven't had insurance for 15 years because it's too expensive. My son has ADHD and requires regular doctor visits and his meds alone cost $250 per month. I have had an ongoing tendinitis problem due to my line of work that I haven't had treated. Now, finally, we get to have coverage because of the ACA for $169 per month. I was crying the other day when I signed up. So much stress lifted. Now, that is not untypical for a lot of folks like Jessica who have been struggling without health insurance. That's what the Affordable Care Act is all about. The point is, the essence of the law the health insurance that's available to people is working just fine.
In some cases, actually, it's exceeding expectations the prices are lower than we expected. The choice is greater than we expected. But the problem has been that the website that's supposed to make it easy to apply. For and purchase the insurance is not working the way it should for everybody. And there's no sugarcoating it. The website has been too slow. People have been getting stuck during the application process. And I think it's fair to say that nobody is more frustrated by that than I am. Precisely because the product is good, I want the cash registers to work. I want the checkout lines to be smooth. So I want people to be able to get this great product. And there's no excuse for the problems, and these problems are getting fixed. But while we're working out the kinks in the system, I want everybody to understand the nature of the problem. First of all, even with all the problems at healthcare, Gov, the website is still working for a lot of people just not as quick or efficient or consistent as we want. And although many of these folks have found that they had to wait longer than they wanted, Once they complete the process they're very happy with the deal that's available to them, just like Genesis. Second, I want everybody to remember that we're only three weeks into a six-month open enrollment period. when you can buy these new plans. Keep in mind the insurance doesn't start until January 1st, that's the earliest that the insurance can kick in. No one who decides to purchase a plan has to pay their first premium until December 15th.
and unlike the day after Thanksgiving sales for the latest PlayStation or flat screen TVs. The insurance plans don't run out. They're not going to sell out. They'll. Be available through the marketplace throughout the open enrollment period. The prices that insurers have set will not change. So everybody who wants insurance through the marketplace will get insurance, period. Everybody who wants insurance through the marketplace will get insurance. Third, we are doing everything we can possibly do to get the websites working better, faster, sooner. We've got people working overtime, 24-7, to boost capacity and address the problems. Experts from some of America's top private sector tech companies who By the way, have seen things like this happen before, they want it to work. They're reaching out. They're offering to send help. We've had some of the best IT talent in the entire country join the team. And we're well into a tech surge to fix the problem. And we are confident that we will get all the problems fixed. Number 4 While the website will ultimately be the easiest. Way to buy insurance through the marketplace, it isn't the only way. And I want to emphasize this. Even as we redouble our efforts to get the site working as well as it's supposed to. We're also redoubling our efforts to make sure you can still buy the same quality. Affordable insurance plans available on the marketplace the old-fashioned way offline, either over the phone or in person. And, by the way, 
there are a lot of people who want to take advantage of. This who are more comfortable working on the phone anyway or in person. So let me go through the specifics as to how you can do that if you're having problems with the website or you just prefer dealing with a person. Yesterday, we updated the website's home page to offer more information about the other. Avenues to enroll in affordable health care until the online option works for everybody. So you'll find information about how to talk to a specialist who can help you apply over. The phone or to receive a downloadable application you can fill out yourself and mail in. We've also added more staff to the call centers where you can apply for insurance over the phone. Those are already they've been working. But a lot of people have decided first to go to the website. But keep in mind, these call centers are already up and running. And you can get your questions answered by real people, 24 hours a day, in 150 different languages. The phone number for these call centers is 1-800-318-2596. I want to repeat that 1-800-318-2596. Wait times have averaged less than one minute so far on the call centers. Although I admit that the wait times probably might go up a little bit now that I've read the number out loud on national television. But the point is the call centers are available. You can talk to somebody directly and they can walk you through the application process. And I guarantee you, if one thing is worth the wait, it's the safety and security of health care that you can afford.
or the amount of money that you can save by buying health insurance through the marketplaces. Once you get on the phone with a trained representative, It usually takes about 25 minutes for an individual to apply for coverage, about 45 minutes for a family. Once you apply for coverage, you will be contacted by email or postal mail about your coverage status. but you don't have to just go through the phone. You can also apply in person with the help of local navigators dash these are people. specially trained to help you sign up for healthcare, and they exist all across the country. Or you can go to community health centers and hospitals. Just visit localhelp.healthcare.gov. To find out where in your area you can get help and apply for insurance in person. And finally, if you've already tried to apply through the website. and you've been stuck somewhere along the way, do not worry. In the coming weeks, we will contact you directly, personally, with a concrete recommendation for how you can complete your application. Shop for coverage, pick a plan that meets your needs, and get covered once and for all. So here's the bottom line. The product, the health insurance is good. The prices are good. It is. A good deal. People don't just want it, they're showing up to buy it. Nobody is madder than me about the fact that the website isn't working as well as it should. Which means it's going to get fixed.